I'm Ami Croker and I am a junior composite design engineer at Aston Martin F1 team. So I started actually doing an apprenticeship uh, at Aston Martin Lagonda. So my apprenticeship there was a degree level apprenticeship, so I got to do my engineering degree. Since then kind of got interested in composites and how they work and the kind of properties they have because they're amazing, amazing materials. I wanted a bit of a challenge. I really wanted to come over to F1 because you're never doing the same thing each day and within a week you can go from having a part on a screen to having it in your hands. We waited months in the automotive industry to get parts through and see the kind of foils of what we've done and here it's literally sometimes the next day. So as a junior composite designer, I am in charge of CAD and making the parts from surfaces, which are basically like a shell. We make them into actual parts on the computer and make sure that those parts go together with those surrounding it into a big assembly. This can be on any part of the car, so the entire shell of the car is composites. You've got the chassis, you've got front wing, rear wing, which is where I work. You've also got things like the floor, which is really, really important to the aerodynamics of the car. I've been personally doing a lot of front wing, rear wing. I've been working on the beam wing, which is the bit at the bottom, and also uh, DRS I've worked on. Definitely feels like an achievement because you, you're looking at it and you're thinking, I've, I've actually put time into this car. If you see your own car and the parts you've worked on making a big difference, it makes you feel so good. You never expect to have a part on an F1 car. Speed of the job is just crazy. You've always got something to do. We're always developing something or modifying something to make the car better, to make it faster. We are connected to everyone. Obviously, we start out by talking to aerodynamics and then after aerodynamics, we've got structures who decide how strong the parts need to be to survive on the car while keeping it as light as possible. And then we do the design. That design then goes to laminating. Laminating sends it to trim shop, which put, it, put the assemblies together. That then goes to inspection. <laughs> and we're talking to them all the way through this, even people drag side. The thing that motivates me the most is knowing that you're coming in in the morning and doing something that no one else is going to be doing that day. It gives me so much motivation to come in in the morning because I just want to, I want to be part of that. I want to be part of the team that's building this one car and there'll never be a car like it. The ideal candidate for any job in F1 is to have that motivation and to really want the job that you're in because so many other people are going to want it. Obviously, we look for things that are STEM related, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics, but obviously I went through the apprenticeship route, so we value a lot of experience as well. I definitely would encourage people to take apprenticeships. If you're more practical minded, which I definitely am, I learn better from being actually doing things if you're that kind of person then an apprenticeship really allows you to get stuck in you kind of forget you're studying you forget you're learning because you're enjoying it so much